and gentlemen i wish you a very good afternoon and ask for forgiveness for keeping you waiting i had an urgent meeting at north block due to which i got delayed coming here but i'm sure the presentations that you were showed probably highlighted what all has been done in niftum and the kind of opportunities that are available for industries as well as for students as well as for entrepreneurs to make use of these facilities without going into a very long drawn out speech i think because before me everything has already been put very precisely and very well i just say that uh, the only institute for food processing technology entrepreneurship and management niftum being the only one of its kind as of today i can say that it has the potential of becoming the harvard of the food processing technology and management sector a university which is very nascent but despite that has always been already been ranked 50th out of 3007 universities in india i think says a lot that in its short time it is already aspiring not just to achieve quality education but is also ensuring that all students get 100% placement as well goes to show that the quality of education being imparted at niftum in this processing sector is being well received by the industry as we try and aspire to keep up with the growing demands and the growing trends and um, uplift all our institutions along with the ministry i'm happy to say that this incubation center the food testing lab and all the new facilities which have been added in niftum are yet another step in that direction i foresee a lot of potential for these new facilities which have been opened up while i look at the food testing lab to actually become a nodal lab for food safety standards authority of india but not only domestically but even for international companies to come and have that one lab in which they can rely on that what this lab says that is what it is and that's what is in in um, harmonization with the way that testing is done in their own country this is what i would hope that this lab turns out to be this is the vision that i have for it same way for the incubation center the kind of potential that we have when we look at a country which is 1.3 billion population where the demand of food is going to go up by 50% over the next 5 years where we have a 480 billion dollar food retail sector which is going to treble by 2020 when we look at all these figures we realize that this is a sector by leaps and bounds and if this sector is growing yes there is going to be many changing trends and many changing demands which are going to come up in the future can niftum be that one stop solution for domestic and for international companies where they can come and they can address the issues which are being uh, raised by industry raised in terms of farmers how to uplift them or be raised by food processors who want to now come and tap into this huge population to make what they make in their own country but now to make it something which is suitable to the indian palate can they use these incubation centers to come and incubate what they are making in their own country and adapt it to make it as successful for the indian palate can this incubation center be used for those international companies along with our domestic companies who are aspiring to actually tap the palate of foreign companies and the tap the changing trends of food which are happening globally so that our indian companies are also ready to meet up with those standards and with those changing trends so i see a lot of um, scope for these incubation centers for our industry for our startups for our incubators for our new enterprises who want to get into the food processing sector and yes like i did tell um, dr vasudev appa that we must also see that how can we come up with a brand which is a brand niftum which is healthier which is fresher and which is cheaper because while the gl globe people move towards healthy food indians are also becoming extremely aware about it not everybody can afford organic food but why not whatever there is that we eat how can we make it a more healthier version and where can we buy a more healthier version why should niftum not become the brand for the most healthiest version of whatever they have to offer so that's yes we did think about that how we could also use our incubation centers for that where the new entrepreneurs come and they try out new things and we provide them a market by at least opening up two outlets one at niftum and one at the ministry premises also 
and and i'm sure that with good delicious healthy food it's going to take off because as indians we all aspire to look for something which is good and healthy i should be very interested to hear what the industry has to say because at the end of the day if we have set up this facility the aim is that it should be useful to everybody including the students including the industry including my farmers and the ministry should make something out of this which is which is self uh, generating in its uh, finances and not a burden but at the same time we should be pioneers and leaders for all these other sectors which i mentioned to be a one stop solution provider i would love to hear the suggestions that you have to make sure that these uh, instead these facilities which have been created how can they be used for optimum utilization which is beneficial to all the stakeholders over here so this meeting is not about hearing us but i think this meeting is more about hearing your suggestions and coming up with that one solution that makes it most useful and most beneficial for everybody including our students i thank uh, dr shindi versus appa who is doing an extremely good job he is working really hard i keep pushing him and setting new targets for him every time he meets me i've got couple of new targets for him to meet and he is barely coping with the older ones and i've come up with four five more new ones but i must say he is working very hard and one of the challenges we face is now that he has set up this facility which he has done in a town time bound manner and done a very good job of it now to ensure that it turns out to be something which the industry appreciates which is useful for our students and which our farmers and our entrepreneurs can also learn something for it so i welcome all the suggestions that you have and in this case you are going to be the guiding force so please be free with your suggestions and we would love to see that how this evolves this platform of this incubation center evolves actually as a guide for the ministry to frame their policies to put up to the government for the times to come that the industry comes here incubates partners with niftum niftum in turn with the ministry and the ministry in turn to frame those kind of policies which impact the food processing sector in an extremely positive manner for this growing population to meet their nutritional needs to meet their demands for food and to meet the trends that the world is going towards in the food processing sector so i thank you all for being here and i apologize once again for being late and i hope that uh, vc saab you will give me a list of all the suggestions that have come in as well despite the ones which you think are good or bad or you decide to adopt i would love to hear what everybody has to say because the more i learn from you the more it gives me feedback as to what more needs to be done in the future so maybe some ideas from here might impact some other scheme of mine which has nothing to do with niftum but all your suggestions are all extremely valuable and it's a learning curve and you are the you are the professors and i'm the student who aspires to learn from you thank you so much